Consider two functions, f of x is equal to a minus x squared, and g of x is equal to x to the 4 minus a. For precisely which values of a greater than 0 is the area of the region bounded by the x-axis and the curve y equal f of x bigger than the area bigger than the area of the region bounded by the x-axis and the curve y equals g of x. And we have various uh, conditions on uh, the value of a here. Okay, so we're just integrating uh, essentially the, these two functions. Uh, first, we have to find where these functions are equal to zero. And then, um, yeah, okay. So let's look at, uh, let's just uh, think about what these functions look like. So f of x, what is that? Okay, I don't know where that came from. Uh, f of x looks something like this. a minus x squared, so that's a. Um, and this value here is going to be root a. And the other function, g of x is equal to x to the 4 minus a. So that um, goes something like this. So when x is 0, we're at negative a here. And that value would be a to the 1 over 4. And we have, of course, the negative value as well. That's for g of x is equal to x to the 4 minus a. OK. Um, so we have two areas. Let's say AF is equal to the integral from negative root A to root A of A minus X squared DX. So this is AX minus A cubed over 3 evaluated at negative root A and root A. So I have, let's just uh, call this 2a root a minus 2 over 3 a to the 3 over 2. Okay, so af is um, 2a to the 3 over 2 minus 2 over 3a to the 3 over 2. AF is um, 4 over 3A to the 3 over 2. Okay, and AG is going to be similar. It's an integral from A to the 1 over 4, negative A to 1 over 4, A to the 1 over 4 of X to the 4 minus A DX. Um, but because this function is negative, this whole thing is going to turn out to be negative, so I'm just going to pop a negative sign on that side. Negative AG is equal to x to the 5 over 4 minus AX. Evaluate these two endpoints. So let's call that 2 over 4 times x to the 5 over 4 minus... Um, 2a times a to the 1 over 4. What do we have here? 1 over 2 minus 2. Um, so negative 3 over 2. Oh, this x should be an a. Negative 3 over 2, a to the 5 over 4. That's negative AG, so let's just do that. And we are asked 
for when AF is bigger than AG. So what was AF again? 4 over 3, A to 3 over 2. Greater than 3 over 2, A to the 5 over 4. Okay, so we have 8, A to 3 over 2 is greater than 9, A to the 5 over 4. Um, Okay, let's write this as 8 over 9 is greater than a 5 over 4 minus 3 over 2. What is that equal to? Um, Five minus six over four. Negative one over four. Okay, so this means um, a to the one over four is greater than nine over eight. Doesn't look like any of the answers, does it? Hope I didn't make any arithmetic mistakes. Uh, I might actually just totally start again. Okay, AF is two integral from zero to root a of a minus x squared dx Seem to be getting, oh, that should be a three. Four over three, A to the three over two, that's AF. Okay, and negative AG, integral from zero a to the 1 over 4, x to the 4 minus a. dx. Did I uh, integrate incorrectly? Yeah, I did. Look at that. Terrible mistake. Okay. So I have 2. A to the 5 over 4. Over 5 minus A to the 5 over 4. Uh, so what is this? negative 4 over 5, so negative 8 over 5 a to the 5 over 4. Cancel those negative signs now. So for af to be greater than ag, I need 4 over 3 a to 3 over 2 to be greater than 8 over 5 a to the 5 over 4. Okay, 
Um, 20 over 24 is greater than A. 5 over 4 minus 3 over 2. We did that a second ago. Uh, but, oops. This is negative 1 over 4. Okay, what do we have here? Um, 10 over 12, that's 5 over 6. So this says a to the 1 over 4 is greater than 6 over 5. So a is greater than 6 over 5 to the power of 4, which is answer E. Yeah, so very silly mistake with the integration. Uh, I've done quite a bit of quite a few problems in this setting, so I'm a little bit mentally exhausted, I guess. Easy to make simple mistakes uh, in this state. Um, but I'm lucky that my mistake didn't end up producing one of the other four multiple choice answers here. Um, yeah, not too much more to say about this one. It's really just computing these areas and then making sure the you understand the statement that you're asked to um, to verify, essentially. And, you know, comfort working with inequalities would help a little bit here. So, yeah, there's your answer. Thanks for watching.